Oh. <clears throat> 37 degrees out there. And I'm sitting here in the cold, in the snow, in the wind, when I should be down in Tennessee, sitting here feeling sorry for myself. Not that feeling as if everybody's going to the party but me, and so very desperately want to be there. Ugh. I have to hand it to Cayman and Laurel. I'm uh, like I'm the chair of the Manitoba Beekeepers Association, <clears throat> and I'm uh, very involved with um, putting on conventions and such. And I've been involved with that for the last three years, going on our fourth. So I know what it takes to put on a convention or a conference. All the work that's involved, and how much work that's put into trying to create a buzz of the uh, of the event to attract people <clears throat> because you're putting all this time and energy into putting on an event to um, provide entertainment and uh, like an educational effort uh, something a service to others <clears throat> but and you want to attract the world to it, but how do you get that attention? How do you bring people in? How do you get people to pay that ticket price and not only attend, but attend with energy and excitement to just to draw and compound on itself? And I have to say that Cayman and Laurel have, uh, they have that magic touch they have been able to attract 800 to 50 to 900 beekeepers to a conference in Tennessee in the middle of COVID environment. At the same time, I just realized that the American Bee Federation is having their own convention going on in Arizona. Like, wow, that is quite impressive. And it takes a certain person to be able to do something like that and I think Cayman just has that infectious spirit you know and that's something I like to promote just that effort that enthusiasm that dedication to the industry his focus on helping people succeed that's that's what I'm all about and that's what I try to uh, convey also on this side and I just want to be down there <clears throat> well, I think next year, even if I'm not up there speaking, I think I'm going to book a ticket Sandy and I anyways and make sure we attend that event because this sounds like a lot of fun. Um, especially like he's tapping into that YouTube type world where we're kind of reaching out and building that community. And I, I guess I'm part of that, and I'm in contact with all these people all the time. And and this is kind of that event where we're all meeting, all congregating in the same spot. <clears throat> Except for me, of course. But there's always next year, as you say. So at any rate, hats off to you, Cayman and Laurel. Good job, I tell you. I hope the event goes well for you. And I am looking forward to next year's. Post, I, I'm assuming I'm going to see a lot. I'm going to buy the, uh, you're going to provide, like, uh, oh, I can't even think. <clears throat> what do you call those? Like a recording of all the presentations, I want I want to see that, so I'll probably buy that. And uh, but I probably what I'm more interested in is the um, conversation in the crowd, and I think I'm going to get that with video from all these YouTubers down there, just taking in the, the experience, <clears throat> videotaping everything they see, everything they 
and with the people they meet just making their own little content for their own little channels so I think I'm more excited to see all of that video content than I'm actually you know I always argue uh, when I'm putting on these present these uh, when I'm helping to put on these conventions <clears throat> that the people in front were just the sideshow where there's the ones that bring the entertainment and the conversation just kind of that tone it's the people in the crowd that's the excitement that's the buzz that's where you want to be that's talking to people you know, mingling talking about bees that's that's the gold and that's what I want to see so all those youtubers out there with your little GoPros and cameras just going crazy I want to see every bit of that and I can't wait so any rate enough of me yapping Got work to do today <clears throat> just kind of sit myself in the tractor and do something